uh, the market developed in very uh, positive way and uh, and also uh, for the 20 years you know forecast uh, between uh, from the 2023 to 2043 uh, they're almost like 66% uh, of uh, their passenger numbers uh, will be contributed for uh, by this by this region that means that there's a uh, uh, lot of you know pent up dem demands uh, for the international and cross borders travelers uh, from this uh, this region, so that is a very positive, and uh, we are quite confident with this as a market development. The first one is uh, regulatory risks, uh, just like other re regions, you know, the airlines are facing the rising the cost, and uh, post, uh, most of them are incurred by the. Uh, more and the more the regulatory compliance requirements, uh, especially for the like passenger uh, passenger require a uh, passenger protection law and also accessibility requirements and also taxations. We are encouraged the government to listen to the views and uh, uh, from the industry, from the aviation industry, and uh, try to lower the or uh, the keep the cost uh, uh, down. All of this is markets, according to our uh, uh, the forecast, uh, we're going to have, uh, have a huge increase of uh, the passenger numbers, which means that there will be have a more like a 2.75 billion the passengers in the coming the 20 years. So we cannot count on or, or expect um, the countries, you know, invest a lot to build a lot of the more larger airports to handle this. So for us, for the industry, have to uh, to to innovate uh, and to improve uh, the efficiencies to handle this. So that means that the, uh, digitalization, automation, and efficient processes become very critical for. Uh, for this region, for these countries. So IAT have already published this uh, digital uh, identity initiative. So I encourage the, the countries, ha if they haven't, you know, look at this, and I encourage them to do that uh, as soon as possible. If the airlines can get the money back and they cannot make sure the air connectivity is uh, and which is so critical for these countries, you know, uh, development, economic uh, growth. And unfortunately, you know, recently, uh, the Pakistan and, uh, and Bangladesh had a rank, uh, the ranks of like uh, the highest, uh, highest in the, in the world in terms of uh, uh, the, the funds which are blocked. So uh, I, really uh, encourage that the, uh, these countries to make sure the airlines can get this as a US dollar the funds. And uh, I'm happy to say uh, that some countries have already uh, taken some actions to give this as a priority to the foreign airlines to uh, get the US dollar money uh, the back to their home, uh, home country.